Hi everyone. Um, this is my 11 week pregnancy vlog. Still going strong. Bubby's still looking healthy. Although I haven't had another scan since last week. But I swear to God, I have felt baby kicking. Like a few little, probably not kicking, but a few little soft flutters. And I did read online that when it's your fourth baby, um, this absolutely can happen. So I like to believe that what I'm feeling is not just gas, <laughs> it's a baby. Um, this week has been wonderful. You can probably hear lots of people out there. I am in my trailer and um, I have four more days left of work ah! on a discovery of witches, which I can't believe. I know I'll look back on this video when I'm completely done and think that was wild. Um, it doesn't feel real. Yeah, I've been on this job for the past three and a half years and and here I am coming to our final few days of filming and playing this character. Uh, so I just wanted to check in about this week. My nausea has gone, which is just brilliant. I'm feeling back to my normal self. Uh, so the worst weeks were six, seven, eight, nine. I'd say the worst week being nine, eight sucked as well. Uh, seven and eight was not great. Um, but nine, the second half of nine was really hard, but luckily I was in lockdown, um, because we had a positive COVID test here in the cast. So we all got shut down for 10 days and it was actually perfect timing because I was feeling so rotten, but now I'm feeling really good. I'm exhausted. I've been having to wake up really early to come to work and then I'm in everything until we wrap. Um, I'm working over the weekends, I'm working nights, I'm I'm just powering through until we go. Um, on Thursday, Sarah and I, um, this coming Thursday, I'll be 12 and a half weeks pregnant. Sarah and I are going on the Kelly Clarkson show, which is really cool. Um, I'm such a big fan of hers. I think she has an amazing singing voice and we've been asked to come on to promote our book. So that's really exciting. We're going to speak to the producer tonight and um, just talk about some of the things that maybe Kelly can bring up uh, during our appearance. But I, it, it's just made me think about announcing the pregnancy and whether that's something I would announce live or not. Probably not. Um because I'm only 12 and a half weeks and I just, I feel like I want to wait. Um, but it means I have to find an outfit that will cover my bump and my bump is really significant. I'm, I will show you. Um, I had sort of a funny week at work because there was quite a lot of emphasis placed on the fact that I am pregnant and then I have put on weight and they can see the weight in my face. Um, and it's fine. It's purely for a continuity, um, reason. It, that's why it's been brought up and it's been discussed and it was discussed openly, which is fine. But, <laughs> but I was feeling a bit sensitive, I think about it this week and I'm sure it was the pregnancy hormones, but, um, you know, I do look different from when I started the show started filming back in August, which is so funny because in this season, my character's pregnant. So she should have a bit more weight on her face. Um, and she should be bigger. She's just had twins. There's no way Diana lost that weight so quickly. Um, so actually it's just, it's just funny that I got pregnant at the end of this season, uh, when I was shooting all this stuff with bellies, the first half of this season, um, anyway, everything's great. Um, like I said, I think I've been feeling a few little like, boop, boops. uh, and I'm just getting really excited now. I, I, um, we're waiting on our NIPT test to come back. There's that part of me again, that's that little like niggling voice back there. That makes me feel afraid that maybe something's wrong and that, she might not make it. And I keep saying she because, as you know, I got my gender results back, blood test results from sneak peek. But then, of course, I went online and there were so many that 
weren't accurate that I'm slightly nervous but I really feel like it is a girl so anyway I'm gonna say she and I can change it to he if it's a he I'll change it to he um so I just want to know that she's healthy I just and we're waiting for that call and every day we're, we're waiting for it um it's 10 business days so I got the blood test and then we have to wait 10 business days and I've been counting the days on my hands and today's day six so by the time I do the next video hopefully we've got news that everything's okay it's a tricky one because the nurse said if you hear from Dr Beatty and he leaves you a message then there's an issue but if you hear from us uh, the nurses to say everything's fine then it's fine so I don't want to hear from Dr. Beatty. I don't want to hear his voice. Go away, Dr. Beatty. <laughs> don't call me. Um, I just, yeah, I'm just so, it feels so real that this baby is coming. She's coming in August. I'm picturing her. I'm thinking about the clothes that I'm going to use for her. Um, I see my little family. And that's the thing about pregnancy is it is such a miraculous, unique, amazing experience. And I've had friends who have lost babies at various points in their pregnancy. So when you get pregnant, it's never a guarantee that that baby will end up in your arms. And that is the scariest part for me. Um, I just want her so badly. I want to snuggle her. And today I had um, I got to cuddle with two little babies at work. Oh my goodness. And I just loved it. I just lapped it up. I was like, oh, come here. That's just so sweet. And um, everyone was saying that in between shots, you could see I was just enjoying it. I was like, hello, talking to the babies. I had them all tucked in under my arms. Um, but yeah, so I'm feeling excited. Uh, I feel good about the year, what the focus is this year. I'm going to go do another job next um which will be very tiring but i've got to make money uh and then at the end of the year i may potentially take another job i'm not sure um but really this is going to be about nesting and being with a family and being in la again and you're just nourishing my relationship with my stepson and my kids and then coming back to adelaide and settling in there into our home into our beautiful home so um, that's really it. It doesn't feel like there's a lot to talk about this week, I think, just because um, I'm almost there. I'm almost at the end of the first trimester, waiting on these results, just sort of patiently waiting, anxiously waiting. Uh, and I just want to get that call saying that everything's okay. Um, I organized with a doctor in L.A., to do uh, like a 12 week scan, uh, which will end up probably being more like a 14 week scan by the time I get there. Oh, by the time I'm out of isolation. Um, and so with uh, Poet, oh my God, I was about to say the baby's name. Um, with Poet, I had an ISO immunization pregnancy. So I don't know if any of you know about that, but I did do my videos. You can go back and have a look at my um, poet pregnancy vlogs if you like. Um, but I had an ISO immunization pregnancy, which basically meant that my husband's blood, he has an antigen in his blood called the, he has the Duffy gene. Um, and basically my body can pick up on uh, his blood in my body through the baby and my body can create uh, antibodies to attack the baby essentially so it can happen if you have a really rare uh, blood type but my husband just happens to be a carrier of this antigen so it didn't happen in the first two pregnancies it happened with poet i had to be monitored uh Every three weeks, I had a blood test to get my titers. It's called my titers done um, to see if my body was attacking the baby. And the cool thing is that it was almost unheard of that your body, when you first um, show positive for having antibodies, they, they take that blood test around your 12-week uh, scan 
when they show when it shows positive it generally means that your body will continue to produce antibodies to fight off the baby and that the baby has inherited the same sort of duffy gene or whatever that my husband has um but my body didn't do that and they couldn't believe it uh I, they just kept saying this is bizarre like your numbers should be going up and we should be starting to get worried about jaundice and if the baby's being affected and um in really severe cases the baby can come out really anemic um sometimes there's pre uh um they come out really small because they're born early um they have to do uh, blood transfusions in utero which is so wild to think that they can even do that but it can be really really dangerous and really serious so at first when we heard about it we had to go to this super high up specialist in LA and I remember just feeling really worried I was just wobbly about it all and then of course my body didn't attack the baby which was brilliant so we now have to go get monitored in a way that um just make sure that that doesn't happen again this pregnancy and if it does uh we have to have all the right steps in place to make sure that baby stays healthy but i'm hoping because it wasn't an issue last pregnancy that even if i do show positive for having antigens um antibodies i hope that my body will do the same thing and not fight the baby off and understand that this is my baby um yeah so anyway that's it i'll show you my belly Ugh. um can you see this little belly got my mic on here so this is it little belly 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 Oh, hi. Oh, hi. I mean, that's not a little belly. I mean, that's a big, that's a significant belly. It's um quite large for 11 weeks, but, you know, my body knows what it's doing. And I just, that's how I carry babies. I come out strong, <laughs> fast out the gate, and then ultimately, you know, it starts to sort of plateau the further along in my pregnancy I get. Um... All right, I, I have like FOMO because I can hear my Kosars giggling out there. So I think I'm going to go. Oh, perfect timing. Um, hello. Yeah. So 10 minutes. Yep. And then we're going to travel and block and then come back and do the change. Okay, great. Okay, so should I just get changed into my regular gear then? If you want to. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, sure. Cool. All right, thank you. I'm going to go. <laughs> I'm going to go shoot this scene. Okay. Mwah. See you later, guys.